2031 Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna joins us now from the Storm Tracker Weather Center. And Kate, that winter weather is part of the same system that brought strong storms to North Alabama today. That's exactly right. And fortunately for us, the impact did not really involve anything in the way of tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. We did get a decent shot of rain, and now we're getting a decent burst of cold air moving in. We did have those much stronger storms farther toward our south. The rain right now is already out into Georgia. It's where it's going to stay. It's going to continue tracking eastward, and we will keep this fairly quiet picture on the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Here's a recap of the rainfall totals from today. Anywhere from about half an inch in Muscle Shoals to an inch and a half in Huntsville, over an inch in Fayetteville. So again, a decent amount of rain. This is just the beginning of a pretty wet streak of weather that restarts next week. We get a few days here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that are dry before the rain picks back up next week. We're going to talk more about that in a second, but here's a recap of the kind of wind that we've been dealing with. Close to 50 mile per hour gusts there in Huntsville, 48 mile per hour gusts recorded in Decatur and in Muscle Shoals, 46 in Fayetteville. It was strong when we had numerous power outages multiple reports of trees down, power lines down because of that strong wind. And that was before the storms even made it to North Alabama. Temperatures right now, we're feeling the chill. We're already down to 37 up in Lawrenceburg. It's 42 in Muscle Shoals, 47 in Huntsville. And look at the difference here. Now that that colder air is just starting to move into Jackson County, we'll start seeing these numbers drop, but we're still close to 60 degrees in both Scottsboro and Fort Payne. Future radar shows that any lingering shower chance continues to diminish as the night goes on. This data source may be flirting with the idea of a snowflake here and there. I think that that's a better chance up in the southern middle Tennessee. Wind out of the north, starting with cloud cover tomorrow morning, but we will be clearing by lunchtime and we will have sunshine during the afternoon. We keep it clear tomorrow night and Saturday and Sunday are both beautiful days. Temperatures start going back up this weekend. As for your Friday, starting mostly cloudy, temperatures near freezing by the afternoon. Yes, I mentioned we have sunshine, but highs are only in the mid to upper 40s. Let's talk a little bit about what's to come next week. So we start the really beginning of Monday on a drier note, but look at all of the rain here. This goes from Monday all the way through next Friday round after round of rain and storms. I do see a couple of opportunities for maybe some stronger storms. One of those comes on Tuesday, but the bigger concern here is going to be the risk for flooding. Upwards of five inches of rain will be possible over the next seven days. It does not take into account the rain that we saw today. So that flooding threat is something that we're really going to need to watch next week as the ground becomes saturated and we continue to see rain in our forecast. If you've got something to get done outdoors, do it this weekend. Next weekend is not going to be the time. Temperatures, although we have the rain in the forecast, that's not so nice. We're back into the 70s on Tuesday, 72 degrees. Saturday and Sunday, highs go from the 50s on Saturday with lows in the 20s, back into the mid-60s by Sunday afternoon.